hello, my name is Rachel and today I'm going to be giving you five recommendations that I think you should be reading this winter. First up is a book that I have been talking about since it came out, since I read it and I'm just going to keep talking about it and that is In the Hall with a Knife by Diana Peter Freund. This is the first book in a YA clue adaptation series and it's fantastic. I just reread it um, so I could get back into back into the headspace for the sequel that was just released and I'm really really enjoying the sequel so far. I just think this is such a fun series. If you like Clue, if you like um, the movie, the board game, if you like murder mysteries that are kind of isolated at a school setting where it's really cold, I think you will love this one. Um, the main reason I'm recommending it for the winter season is because they are in Maine and essentially the reason they're isolated on this little like island that their school is housed on is because of the harsh winter weather that they experience. Um, it's, it freezes everything over, um, it kind of floods part of the campus and they all have to congregate, everybody that's left at least, has to congregate and tutor house one of the dormitories on campus and then of course murder ensues. So it was fantastic. Uh, like I said, I've reread it. I've read it twice now. I think it is so much fun. So if you're looking for a murder mystery that's going to give you like all the winter vibes, check out In the Hall with a Knife by Diana Peter Freund. Number two is a very similar, very hot new release, and that is One by One by Ruth Ware. This was a lot of fun. I say this in like the nicest way. This is not the best book you're ever going to read, but I found it to be very entertaining. I know it's getting like very mixed reviews here on booktube, but it gave me everything that I wanted. I wanted a kind of murder mystery that was set in a cold setting. And that is exactly what this book gave us. This is set in the like French mountains, this chalet up in these like snowy mountains. And this tech crew has decided to have kind of like a staff um, getaway and they go and stay in the chalet with these two people who are kind of in charge of the chalet for the weekend and thus the title one by one they begin dying and like I said it was just perfect for me it gave me all the winter vibes it's so like atmospheric with the skiing and then there's an avalanche and there's just cold and snow and aside from all the murder and the avalanche like I would I really wanted to go stay in one of these chalets if I could hold off I'm being murdered and being snowed in via an avalanche in a big stack of books I've won. But um, very atmospheric for the winter season. And if you're looking for a fun murder mystery, I feel like that's kind of ironic to say, but you know what I mean. Um, this is the one for you. And again, that is One by One by Ruth Ware. Next up in kind of a similar vein, more kind of snowy, mountain-esque, murderiness. Uh, if you're into that, you should pick up Dead Mountain, The Untold True Story of the Diet Loft Pass Incident by Donnie Icar. And this is going to give you possibly nightmares because it's terrifying. Uh, this is a nonfiction book, so it's a true story about um, some professional level skiers who essentially all die up in the mountain inexplicably in Russia. They're up in like Siberia. They're all like young, healthy, very active, highly trained skiers. I think for some of them, this was like the last hike to earn like the highest ranking ski, like officialness that you can get. So they're all very good at this and um, they never return. So they go out searching for them. They find their tent. Um, it's been clearly cut and they find some of them, some of their bodies sooner than the others. Some of them, they have to wait until the ice melts to find them. Um, but they find them and they're all in various stages of undress, which doesn't make any sense to the authorities. And some of them have in injuries that cannot be explained. So this book kind of explores the, um, the trek they would have had up to the the spot where they found the tent they they contact some like some eyewitnesses that they would have experienced along the way and then there's an exploration of some of the theories as to what might have happened to them uh and again this is going to be totally creepy because it's a true story and um this is one of those that really is perplexing because i don't know um it's very clear that some of them some of the theories don't sound reasonable 
but there's not one that really sounds super reasonable. So that kind of puts all of them into question. So I think if you're looking for kind of a creepy book that's also got like the cold wintry vibes, this is the one for you. And again, that is Dead Mountain by Donny Icar. Next is another snowy mountain book. I think that's what I need to just call this, snowy mountain books, right? Um, this one is technically the sequel, but I don't think you really need to read them in order. Uh, this is Dead Voices by Catherine Arden. The first book is called Small Spaces. And the thing that I love the most about this series is that it's very seasonal. The first book is very fall based. It's got a lot of like pumpkins, pumpkin patches, um, scarecrows, all fall things. Um, this one is focused more on the winter season. They are snowed in at a ski lodge. A ski. They are snowed in at a ski lodge, and there are some ghosts and some bad guys. And yes, all the all the winter spooky things that you need. So if you're still feeling that spooky season, but you also want winter vibes, this is the book for you. Again, like I said, this is a sequel. So we have some reoccurring characters, but I don't really think you really have to read the first book to get this, but they're both very short. They're middle grade books. So if you want to go for it, they're both good. But Dead Voices is definitely the one that is focused more on the winter. There is allegedly going to be a spring and a summer one of this as well. So keep your eyes peeled. But essentially, we have um, three friends whose bond we get to witness in the first book um, going with their parents to the ski lodge for a break and of course they're going to get snowed in and some of their troubles from the first book follow them into the second book but in a very kind of different format which is why I don't think you necessarily need to read the first one but it's spooky um, for middle grade like this is pretty scary so um, I, I think you're going to enjoy it and I think it would be perfect to read on like a cold winter day. And last but not least um, I'm sure you're going to be surprised. I have yet another snowy mountain book for you. And technically, it's kind of a double recommendation. There's two books that go with this. Um, the theme for this choice is the infamous Donner Party from the Oregon Trail, where they were essentially stranded in the snowy mountains. They didn't get through the mountains quick enough. And when they got trapped by the snow, they ran out of food and allegedly began to eat each other. Um, so one way to go is an adult kind of reimagining of maybe what happens with some supernaturally feels to it. And that is The Hunger by Al Makatsu. Um, it's creepy and atmospheric and kind of uh, terrifying, like all at the same time. And it's very it's very like slow paced because you're like on the Oregon Trail, like not a lot's happening. Um, you're going, you're going, you know, something, maybe an ox dies. It's a lot like the game, you know, it's kind of slow. It's kind of a slow burn, but you know what's coming and there's enough of like a spooky vibe going that it really keeps you going. So by the time you hit the winter season and things are starting to really go off the rails, um, you're just totally enthralled. So I think you're going to like this one. Again, it's going to give you some like spooky wintry vibes. And that's The Hunger by Al Makatsu. Um, there's another recommendation for this too, if you want some of more of the Donner Party vibes. And that is called To Stay Alive. This is Mary Ann Graves and the Tragic Journey of the Donner Party by Skeela Brown. This is a historical fiction book in verse uh, that's YA and it is just enthralling. Um, you're following along um, as they, they're progressing towards the mountains. Again, you know what's coming. I think that I typically personally don't tend to enjoy verse and poems. That's just not my jam. Um, but the, the verse style of this book is totally appropriate. I think it really helps build the atmosphere and really brings home like the tone of what's happening in certain parts of this book makes it so so creepy. Um, again though it's going to give you a lot of that winter spooky creepy vibes so if you're in to that you can try either The Hunger or To Stay Alive by Silka Brown. So there you have some recommendations for you to read this winter that's basically just a collection of like spooky things that happen in the mountains <laughs> but enjoy if you do read them or if you already have let me know down below and apparently that's the thing I like to read so if you have any other like spooky spooky snow covered mountain books let me know down below thanks so much for watching I'll see you again in the video soon bye for now